Welcome to Hari's Hobbies, the channel where we discuss the latest tech news and delve into newest tech products. Today, we're taking a look at if you guys should wait for the GTX 1180 based on the rumors and leaks that are out about that card right now. But before we delve into that, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you guys like to be updated with the latest tech news related to gaming and PCs. So, first of all, how much is this new GPU going to cost? Because that's definitely the overarching category when deciding whether or not to wait for a new GPU. Well, according to this leak, this new GPU is supposed to come out for an MSRP of $699. So if you guys remember, that was the same MSRP that the GTX 1080 Founders Edition came out as well. And then third party renditions of the GTX 1080 came out for an MSRP of $599. So this generation, we may see that ASUS, Gigabyte, and MSI variants of this card would release for an MSRP of $599. Honestly, I thought that the MSRP of this new card would be much higher, like $800 or $850, something like that, because of the cryptocurrency mining issue, the high demand for GPUs, and the inflation of RAM prices. But apparently not. According to the leak, the performance of the GTX 1180 should be very similar to the Titan XP, and the MSRP of the Titan XP is $1,200, and right now, you'd be lucky if you can find it for less than $1,500. So as a result, the GTX 1180 is really offering great value for its price. It's pretty much giving you the performance of a Titan XP for less than half the price. Nvidia is known for giving us great generational gaps and upgrades between generations, so this is definitely reasonable and expectable from Nvidia. Also, I know there are going to be a lot of comments down below that are like, GPUs will never return to MSRP until RAM prices subside. But RAM prices have been increasing for over a year now, and NVIDIA GPUs have only been increasing in price since the beginning of this year. Also, RAM prices were much higher in November and December of 2017, but the GPUs of NVIDIA were actually at MSRP and oftentimes even lower than MSRP. So as a result, I don't think RAM prices affect the GPU market too dramatically. Now, before we jump into all the numbers and stuff, I think we should first take the time to understand the real world performance that this GTX 1180 will offer. So assuming that it is very similar to Titan XP, it should be able to handle all current games at max settings at at least 60 frames per second at 4K. It should actually be able to handle most games at 70 or 80 frames or even higher. On top of that, it should also really excel in triple monitor 1080p gaming and ultra wide QHD gaming and other variants like that. So if you guys are interested in any of those gaming styles, then this new GPU may be worth considering and waiting for. First of all, this new GPU is going to go from the Pascal architecture to the Turing architecture, which means a uh, change in the process from a 16 nanometer process to a 12 nanometer FinFET process. On top of this, this GTX 1180, there's expected a huge die size increase. As for the GTX 1080, the die size was 314 mm squared, and for this new card, it's supposed to be 400 mm squared. So it is quite a big increase. However, the performance is more than worth it. As for CUDA cores, the GTX 1080 has 2560 CUDA cores, and this new GTX 1180 is supposed to have 3584 CUDA cores. And to put this in perspective, the Titan XP has 3840 CUDA cores, so it's very comparable with the GTX 1180. On top of this, when you look at teraflops, the GTX 1080 has 8.7 teraflops of performance, the Titan XP has 12, and this new GTX 1180 is supposed to have 13 teraflops. The GTX 1080 has 8GB of GDDR5X memory, and the Titan XP has 12 gigabytes of GDDR5X memory. But this new graphics card is supposed to have anywhere from 8 to 16 gigabytes of RAM, but it's supposed to be GDDR6 memory, which is supposed to offer exponentially better performance than the GDDR5X memory. Unfortunately, it is rumored to be a bit pricier though. As for memory speed, the GTX 1080 has 10 gigabit per second memory speed, the Titan XP has 11.4 gigabit per second memory speed, and this new GTX 1180 is supposed to have 16 gigabit per second memory speed. As for memory bandwidth, the GTX 1080 has 320 gigabytes per second. The Titan XP has 547.7 gigabytes a second, and this new GTX 1180 is supposed to have 512 gigabytes a second. On top of all of this, 
The GTX 1180 is supposed to consume less power than the Titan XP. The GTX 1180 is rumored to only consume 170 to 200 watts, while the Titan XP consumed 250 watts. Overall, the leaked performance and benchmarks of the GTX 1180 put it very close with the Titan XP, and with the new GDDR6 memory and new architecture, this may lead to almost identical performance with the Titan XP. So that's all the information that there is, but should you wait? In my opinion, I definitely recommend that you guys wait if you have the money, because this new GTX 1180 just gives so much better performance and it's a much better value. Also, you'd be spending the same amount of money that you would be on a GTX 1080 right now, so it's definitely worth the price. So that's for the GTX 1180. But what about for the lower level cards like the 1160 and 1170? Well, we don't have any performance numbers on them or price leaks, so the only thing we can do is look at past generations to be able to predict the performance of these new GPUs. So last generation, the 1070 was pretty much equal with the 980 Ti in terms of performance. It was actually just a little bit better. So this generation, we may see that the 1170 is pretty much identical with the 1080 Ti. Also, last generation, the 1060 was pretty much equal with the 980, so this generation, the 1160 should be very comparable with the 1080. And as for price, I think that the price will remain the same considering that the GTX 1180 is offered for the same price. If anything, it may be bumped up like 10 to $20 like what happened with the Intel i7-8700K. So honestly, these new GPUs are going to offer much better performance at a much cheaper price, so I really think that all of you guys should wait if you can. Even if you just want a 10 series card and you don't really care about all the new performance that these new cards come with, you should still wait because once these new cards come out, the 10 series cards will further drop in price and you guys can save money then. So overall, in my opinion, the only reason that you wouldn't wait for these new cards is because you really don't care about a little bit more performance or a little bit of money that you guys could save, and there's no shame in that either. So what do you guys think? Do you guys think that the GTX 1180 is going to be awesome and definitely worth waiting for? and that it'll deliver that much performance? Or do you think that that much performance is definitely overkill and quite pointless? Make sure to comment down below what you guys think about this, because I do read all my comments and I'm curious as to what you guys think, so make sure to post your thoughts. Also, if you guys like this video, then make sure to drop a like, and if you guys would like to see more videos just like this every single day, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on that bell notification. But until next time, bye.